Thank you everyone for joining the executive talks of our quantum AI series. We feature the global innovators shaping the future of quantum computing. This morning, Atom Computing announced the closure of a $60 million Series B round. So today we have one of our favorite guests back, Rob Hayes, the CEO and president of Atom Computing. Congratulations, Rob. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share this great news. Thank it's you. Always thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. Now, help us understand the importance of these additional funds. What do you aim to accomplish with this latest investment round? And in what time frame? Yeah, so our, our uh, prior investment that we had received, uh, Series A and C, uh, allowed us to prove out our technology and build our first 100 qubit system that we call Phoenix. And now that we've kind of proven out the technology and experimented and figure out what works well and what we might change, we are uh, starting to build our second generation machines. And that's really what this month's going to go after is building up our second generation of the technology and bringing it to the market. And scaling is currently a huge challenge in quantum computing. You've indicated that you, you have an approach that will scale better and faster than your competitors. Please remind us why your technology and your approach to quantum computing will solve this challenge. We were the first ones to build nuclear spin qubits out of neutral atoms. And unlike some of the earlier quantum computing hardware technologies like superconductors and trapped ions, uh, our system is built on atoms that are trapped in a vacuum chamber by lasers and wirelessly controlled. So we have individual control of qubits that are very closely packed together in free space. And we don't have to wire them up. We don't have to put them into a dilution refrigerator. Uh, so scaling is really just as simple as creating more spots of light that we can individually control. As it relates to the customer experience, why would prospective customers choose Atom Computing over your competitors? Well, it's early days for the industry as a whole. But what our team is, is we're a bunch of scientists and engineers, including ourselves, that are really obsessed with building scalable quantum computers that are reliable. And we're really excited about working with our customers to help them solve the challenges that they have. And so not just building hardware, but building up applications expertise, and being really partner friendly and working with other software and services partners to deliver a customer experience that people love. Thank you. And as it relates to commercializing your technology, when do you plan to achieve this? We'll be announcing commercialization in the coming months. Uh, right now, we're focused on building out the second generation machines and working with uh, our partners to you know, fill out the whole solution stack and get ready to bring customers on board in a public way. In the meantime, we're working with customers privately for beta testing and other things to get ready for product launch. And are these customers primarily large enterprises? Um, yeah, it's a variety. Yeah, I mean, some of the world's largest, you know, brands that you know that are investing early in quantum technology, banks, aerospace, pharma, uh, but also a number of startups that are really kind of pushing the boundaries of how you can do computing using some of the new quantum computing technology. So it's a mix and we, you know, our team kind of encourages a variety of different types of customers and use cases, because at the end of the day, we're building a, gate a, a general purpose gate based quantum machine that should serve a number of use cases across many industries. And there's a lot of experimentation and learning that needs to go on. So we encourage that and we're seeing a, a big variety of different customers as a result. Can you share who some of those partners are? Yeah, we're not ready to announce any partners by name today, but really partners at all levels of the solution stack. So software platforms, applications partners, cloud service providers, and end customers and users, as well as some IT consultants. So we're working with some of the large kind of brand name IT consultants that are global um, to help uh, engage potential customers and in, in their journey to quantum computing. And are you planning international expansion soon? Yeah, of course, we, we will be an international company. Today, we're, you know, kind of focused on R&D and building out the technology stack, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, in the future, we will serve global, global customers. Now, you have a pretty impressive list for this latest round of of investors, how did you connect with the with third point ventures that led this round? 
Well, you know, it's, uh, they say it's who you know, and in this case, it's absolutely true. So Innovation Endeavors had led our uh, Series A round, and they actually introduced Third Point to, to us and to me uh, a few months ago. It turned out the partner that led the round for Third Point, uh, who's also joining our board, uh, he's somebody that I've known for probably about 15 years. When I was at Intel, I actually acquired the company that he was part of. Uh, and so I got to know him then and worked with him in many capacities. He, he later went on and um, went and worked at Arista at Third Point and a couple other places. And, uh, you know, when, when Innovation Endeavors introduced us again, it was just like an old friend. Um, same thing with Prime Movers. The so Prime Movers joined in as well. They didn't lead the round, but they, they, they participated in it. Um, they're really a, a fund that's focused on deep technology that can really be life-changing. And uh, the partner that led the round uh, went to business school with uh, one of our board observers who's from Prelude Ventures. And the technical partner who did, led the diligence was in the same PhD postdoc lab as Jonathan King, who's one of our co-founders. So. There are already pre-existing relationships, and it's great to welcome partners that are going to be there for the long haul, but we've already got a, a deep trusted relationship with, with the folks. Wow, that's truly interesting. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And um, let's shift briefly to a topic that's increasingly important to stakeholders. Now, it's been reported that sustainable business practices result in improved financial performance for corporations, and that leaders must be able to explain to their stakeholders, what role the corporation is playing in addressing societal challenges. So given it's increasing, given the increasing importance of sustainability to stakeholders across the globe, have you integrated sustainability initiatives in your corporate strategy at Adam Computing? And you know, I would say when I was at um, prior Fortune 200 companies, this was a big focus of of, like you said, the boardroom, but also, you know, down at the management level. And um, and I couldn't agree with you more that it is an incredibly important uh, thing that you need to incorporate into your business. And you also need to think about how your business contributes to sustainability of other people's businesses as part of an ecosystem. You know, we're pretty early days at Adam Computing. We don't even have a product yet that's available. So, um, so you know, while I agree with your, um, your assertion here and, and the spirit of it, I would say it's probably pretty early for us to say, this is our sustainability strategy. But I do believe it'll come not just in the governance of our own company, but how customers use quantum computing to help sustainability for the planet. Material science, chemistry, um, risk modeling, things like that, I think it'll all play in. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's important and it's something that we'll certainly build into the business as we move forward. So are you intentionally targeting use cases that are related to, I guess, climate change or sustainability in general then? I don't know that it's so much our agenda as it is, you know, us supporting our customers and whatever their mission and agenda is. Um, but, you know, like you said, I think it's important and it's something that we'll certainly uh, be focused on as we move forward. So will you have any more big announcements in the coming months? Yeah, of course we will, but you're going to have to wait to hear what they are. Well, Rob, thank you so very much. As always, I greatly appreciate your time. It was a pleasure catching up with you today. Thanks. Same to you. Nice talking to you.